Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos in On One Photo Raw. So uh, it's been a while since I recorded my last video, and I just got busy in my personal life. And also last weekend, I spent uh, my free time updating and working on my website. I am a professional web developer by trade, and so I like to customize things and my photo site was very old. I built it like eight years ago. The code was like old and outdated and slow and bloated, uh, not so much fun to work with. So I took the time to update it from a really old version of Bootstrap and jQuery into using Tailwind and AlpineJS. I took a little bit more time and cleaned up some of the design, modernized it, gave it a little bit more breathing room, and I added in a whole new feature. So I'm just gonna give a quick look at my website. So uh, this is the most recent photo, and it's very simple. We can go look at videos, and I put all the videos from the YouTube channel get displayed here. Archives is kind of a faux calendar view of the site. Um, it shows from each month, but it's not like a Monday to Sunday view. Uh, and then underneath you can take a look at where you want to find what photos I've taken. As you can tell, I did not do much photography during uh, COVID. All photos is uh, just an endless stream of the my photos in reverse chronological order uh, with pagination. That's it. It's a, it's a pretty simple site. We've got some social media links up here. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. You, you can find me on Vero, Instagram, YouTube, which you already know about, uh, and Twitter. Okay. So today, what I want to go over are five tips to make your life easier in the browse module in On One Photo Raw. Let's get to it. So the first tip is easily rotate your images in the browse module. Uh, recently I had gone out and taken a lot of shots in portrait mode and I was getting frustrated when I was using the browse module because my shots were all horizontal, as you can see like right here, and I'd have to rotate my head to look at it or open up each photo individually, go to edit, open up the crop, rotate it, and apply. And then go back to browse to see, my, see them all together. It, it was tedious, time consuming. It's much simpler to get your photo and go here, rotate, and I can choose clockwise or counterclockwise. And there, there's something wrong with this photo. I don't know why it's showing upside down. Uh, let's try it with this one. Uh, where is it? Rotate, counterclockwise, and now it's like that. Even better, you can select multiple photos at once and do them all at the same time. And now they're all rotated. Much faster, more efficient. Uh, I wish there was a hotkey for it. I'm gonna look into that later. Uh, speaking of hotkeys, that's tip number two. Learn your hotkeys, because they will help you be more efficient and work faster by keeping your hands on the keyboard rather than moving your mouse all over the place. Okay, so the first key, uh, first tip is G for grid. And we're already in the grid mode. So I'm gonna go to edit and I wanna go back. All I have to do is use my keyboard and type G and I'm in the grid mode, grid view, G grid view. If I am browsing around and I say, I want to see this shot full size, the full size or single photo keyboard, key, a hotkey is E. 
Now, I'm not sure why it's E, but it is, and it works just fine. Now, I'm in this, this view, and I want to see the other shots that are before and after it, kind of in a film strip. And film strip starts with F, so I'm going to hit the F key, and I've got the film strip. So, grid, G, single view, E, F, film strip. Now, sometimes you might want to take a look at two photos at a larger size to decide which one's your keeper or which one you want to throw away or, you know, something like that. So you select two, control click, and then you hit C for compare. And now you've got both shots up side by side and I could decide that um, this is the one that I'm going to edit. And I go on and I, I do the edits, okay? Now, what if you want to see these two shots at a larger size yet? Well, you've got these panes on the left-hand side, or right-hand side, and the left-hand side, and they're taking up a lot of real estate. Well, I can hide them both with the tab key. And now I get a bigger view. But perhaps I don't want to hide both of them. You can hide them individually. So what I just did is I hit the tab key again to bring them both back. If I want to hide the left pane, I will hit Control. I assume that it's Command on Mac. Control and left arrow, and it's gone and control and left arrow, and it brings it back. And uh, opposite for the right pane, control and right arrow, control and right arrow brings it back. So you can uh, expand your view of what you're looking at. This is really handy if you're editing or working on a small screen like a laptop, you're not at home, you don't have your big external monitors. Really, really handy when you need to work on a smaller screen. Okay, so other keys. Let's go, uh, let's go into grid mode. So I've got these keys here and what I wanna do is I wanna rate this photo. And one through five is the star rating. So if I hit one, two, three, four, five, back to one, um, three, just hit a number and it rates it. Six to zero are your color keys. So six is red, uh, seven is yellow, eight is green, nine is blue, and zero is purple. Very, very nice. Uh, maybe you just want to mark it with the heart or you want to mark it as a rejection. Okay, so the heart or liking it is P, P pick. So I'm picking this one, I'm, maybe I'm going to print it, or I, I'm going to somehow uh, feature it, maybe on my website or Instagram or whatever. P, pick. If I go to this one and I decide that I don't want to do this, then I can X and it is now marked for deletion or that I dislike it. Perhaps I was a little overzealous and I decided that, hey, I, I, do, I do like this photo, or maybe I don't dislike it as much as I thought. All I have to do is hit U, undo, U, undo, and it's not disliking it anymore. Same with the like, U, it's not liking it anymore. It hasn't done the opposite, so it's not going from like to dislike, it's just going from like to neutral okay so uh and those are our hotkeys all right so uh the third tip is keywords you can add key easily add keywords so you can search and filter for your photos um, so very simple i go here and maybe i'm going to say uh, uh night shot um, Blue hour, no, actually, no, not blue hour, uh, night shot, street, 
you can also add the same keywords to multiple photos at the same time. So let's just do like this. And then uh, I hit enter. Uh, street. And then it's going to give me this pop up asking me, do I want to add all to all of the photos? I'm going to say yes. And then I'll say night and it'll do the same thing. Uh, so, you know, adding keywords will help you search and filter and find your photos at a later time. So to go on with this, we can use the filter to narrow down uh, what we're seeing in the grid view or in any view. So right here, you can see I have 155 photos in this folder. And I can go down here and I can filter. I'm going to filter by night. And automatically it live updates. And we can see I've got one photo here that uh, I had done. And then the ones I just added now. I can, uh, furthermore, I could say, like, uh, we'll put in street. And we can see I've added a lot with street. And maybe I want to see street and three stars. So now I've got street and I'm going to look, filter for red and I can see the two red photos and then I'm going to filter for heart and now I've got the red photo with the heart. Okay. So, okay, so if you found this video helpful or useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, you can find me on Vero, Instagram and my website. Links are in the description below. Uh, if you would like me to go over other hotkeys or tips, maybe in the develop module or things like that, please leave comments and let me know what kind of videos that you want to do because I'm here to help you. All right. And onward to our last tip for the video, which is searching. And you can search your entire library. There's two ways for you to do that. Uh, First, we could just hit the magnifying glass and then we get this search pop up. Or you can do another hotkey, Control F. And you get the same search pane holds up. Uh, pro tip for you Control F is a common hotkey in many, many, many programs for finding. So you open your browser, Control F will find something on your page. If you're in a PDF, Control F will search the PDF uh, in Word, lots of things. So Control F, universal hotkey, okay? Uh, so back to searching, you can save searches and there's some default ones here, uh, but source, look in current folder, uh, search catalog folders. I'm going to do that. And then we've got these match options. So match all of the following rules, any of the following rules, or none of the following rules. So I'm going to go with all. I'm going to add a field. And I'm going to say um, likes. No, um, rating. Where is it? Where is rating? Rating is three stars or i could say rating it's is greater or equal to three stars and now you can see that it's showing all of the photos that i've rated greater or equal to three stars i'm going to say five and then we'll say uh greater or equal to five stars it's going to upload what are my five star photos? I haven't done this in a long time. So yeah, uh, so you can see there's some of my kids and uh, yeah. So you can add another field here and we could say, uh, what camera do I want? So I want to search for uh, what camera, a camera model. No, uh, not camera model because I don't remember my camera models. Um, Camera make, there we go. So I'm gonna say uh, Panasonic. And, you know, here we, 
it's filtered them again. And then I could add another field if I want to. And this time I'm going to say uh, keywords. And I'm going to say um, landscape. And here we go. So I've got photos that I rated five stars taken with my one of my two Panasonic cameras that I've had and are keyworded as landscapes. Okay, so the advanced search really, really gives you a lot of control about how to filter through. And when you've got 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 photos, this is going to be your best friend. That and keywording. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.